Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching JavaScript for Beginners Lesson 14 and in this video we're going to talk about comparison operators. <laughs> Alright then gang, so in the last couple of lessons we've been looking at if statements and else if statements and essentially what they do is control the flow of a document and we check certain conditions. If those conditions are met, then we'd output some code. If those conditions are not met or the false, then we'd output some different code. Okay, so it looks something like this. If um, condition and then block here of code. And this condition would be something like if x is greater than 5, right? Now, this thing here is a comparison operator. We're comparing x with 5. And there's many different comparison operators that we can use within this evaluation between the brackets. So that's what this lesson is all about. I'm going to show you some different um, comparison operators so that you can use them in your logical workflow. So we've already seen the greater than. If we first declare a variable, let's say var, var x equals 5, right? And we can say x is greater than 4 because it is. And that will return true. If we say x is greater than 5, which it's not, it is 5, it will return false. Okay. Now, what if we want to say it's greater to or equal to 5? Well, we can do that. We can say x greater to or equal to 5. And because it is 5, then it will be true. All right. And we could say if x is greater to or equal to 4, that's also true because it's greater to or equal to 4. And um, we have the same for less than. We could say, is x less than 5? No, that's false. But is x less than or equal to 5? True. Okay? So they are the less than, equal to, and greater than, equal to comparison operators. Now, some more we have that we've already seen is the double equals. Remember, the single equals is the assignment operator, which we use for declaring variables. The double equals is the comparison operator, which we use to compare two numbers. So we could say something like, is x equal to 4? That's false. But is x equal to 5? Well, that's true. Okay. There's also something called the triple equal um, comparison operator. And we'd use this to check the value and type. Okay. So we could say x triple equal to 5. And that's right. And we're saying, is it an integer? This isn't a string. This is a number, right? So we're saying, is first of all, the value equal to 5? Well, yeah. And is the type, is it a number equal to 5? Well, yeah, again. But if we redeclare x, and this time we set it to a string of 5, okay? So now x is the string of 5. We can still say double equals. We can still compare x to be 5. And that will still return true. Now, what's happening here is the double equals is just checking the value. So even though this is a number and this is a string, the values are the same. So it's quite lenient. However, I don't like to rely on this. I always like to use the triple equals because then I know I'm dealing with a number or a string. So I'd always say is x triple equal to 5. And this time it's false. And that's because the type does not match. This is a number and this is a string. If I were to say x triple equals to the string 5, then this would be true because it's matching the number and the string. Okay, so they're the equals comparisons. I'm just going to redeclare this back to normal 5, the number. And then finally, I want to show you the negation operator. And that is simply this exclamation mark. And we put that in front of an equal sign. So we want to check that x is not equal to 4. Okay, so this is saying it's I want to check if x is not equal to 4, okay? And that returns true, because this is true, x is not equal to 4, okay? If we were to say x is not equal to 5, then that's false. And same again, if we add another equal sign, we'll do the type as well. So we can say that, and because they're both numbers, this is false. If I was to change x equals to the string again, 5, and I put x is not equal to 5, this time it's true because even though the value is 5, yeah, the type is not number. The type is string of x. Okay, so again, I always like to use this one, the double one, rather than the single. Okay, so they, my friends, are the comparison operators. Um, what I would suggest is you go back and try a few of these out with different if statements. Um, and in the next lesson, I'm going to show you some logical operators that we can use in conjunction with these to make our if statements a little bit more complex. So 
If you have any questions about this so far, feel free to comment down below. I'll answer all of those. Otherwise, if you enjoy these videos, please like, share, or subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.